What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we have some brand new MDT action figure pick fed news for you guys. Yes, we're going to be going over some information regarding the MDT pick fed and MDT vindication episode number 15. Episode 14 of MDT Live did drop a few days ago. I think it was like four or five days ago. Definitely go check that out. We are literally one episode of vindication and one episode of MDT Live away from MDT Hell's Gate, which I'm freaking just super over the moon about because it's going to be the most epic pay-per-view that we've put on thus far. We have two Elimination Chamber matches posted for that thing. They are shaping up very nicely. I'm freaking excited. I cannot wait for both of those. And uh, they're taking shape very nicely again. And uh, this is it. You guys thought the MDT Royal Rumble was great. This is going to be a step above that and a step above that. And we're going to keep getting better every single time. And that's just a promise right here. It will always get better. So you guys can see here, we're going to talk about MDT Vindication episode number 15. And we're going to talk about what to expect out of that show. It should be up. Uh, I'm going to shoot for next week, guys. I'm literally going to shoot for next week. Um, after finishing MDT Live episode 14, I got like a surge of momentum in my body. I was like, no, bro, F this-ish. I'm going to get in here, and I'm going to get this show done, and we're going to get to Hell's Gate because I'm sick of this crap trying to slow me down. But here we go, guys. We're going to get into MDT Vindication episode number 15, and I think that uh, we're going to start off with the matches that are going to take place on MDT Vindication 15. So getting into the matches that will take place on MDT Vindication episode 15, guys, we have the first matchup, which will be Adam Cole taking on El Generico, and both of these guys had pretty good Royal Rumble matches, which is why they're in these qualifiers. These were obviously announced by Eric Bischoff on MDT Live episode number 14, and I'm excited. You guys know the MDT higher-ups don't trust Kenny Omega to make these announcements for himself because he's the GM, and he knows that, uh, or they know that, you know, he that he would just throw in, you know, the weakest opponents possible, try to get that elimination chamber filled up with some non-quality opponents, and he would just run havoc on them and win the match anyway, so they don't trust that man, so they're going to set up the matches or they, they trusted Eric Bischoff to do so. So he announced this matchup first. We have Adam Cole versus El Generico. Should be a very entertaining matchup. We haven't seen El Generico in singles action in a very long time. I think it's been many episodes now. He he returned at the Royal Rumble, you know, back to in-ring competition. And he looked like a he looked pretty good in that matchup, I thought. I thought he looked pretty good. He had a couple eliminations and he's gonna have some noise here after, you know, he he actually stole two entries into the MDT Royal Rumble. We still don't know where the hell that second entry went, but he uh, you know he had two entries in there and he he got in there and he he made some noise and he he got some elimination so he will go one on one with Adam Cole and Adam Cole trying to you know get momentum back on his side after being confronted by the Bullet Club and after being accused by Kenny Omega for you know all of the bull crap that's been happening to the Bullet Club and all the stuff that's been happening to Kenny Omega since forever and so he he got you know in trouble for that and he got assaulted by Kenny Omega got assaulted by the Bullet Club and so he he was off last week he wasn't even on the show you know healing from those injuries so he will be back here versus El Generico. Our second matchup will be Alistair Black taking on Matt Hardy. And I guess the MDT higher-ups and Bischoff felt that Alistair Black needed this opportunity. You know, we haven't seen him in the in-ring debut. So he's got a huge debut here versus Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy was obviously in the Royal Rumble. And that's the thing. Alistair Black wasn't in the Royal Rumble. And these Elimination Chamber qualifiers are supposed to be people who are in the Royal Rumble. But if you go back and look at the Royal Rumble graphic, um, all 30 entrants, Jeff Hardy, he obviously has qualified already. Ready. Seth Rollins won the Rumble, so he can't. They don't trust Marty Skrull. Cedric Alexander is in the Elimination Chamber. Sami Zayn, we don't know where the hell he's been. He hasn't responded to anything. Cody Rhodes is another, you know, champion, and also he is a part of Bullet Club. They don't want him qualifying for the Chamber. Matt Hardy, obviously a part of one. Matt Jackson, a part of that same conversation as Skrull and Rhodes. Randy Orton just had a qualifier with Jeff Hardy. Jack Gallagher literally was the fastest eliminated, so he doesn't deserve an opportunity. Samoa Joe was taken out by Shinsuke Nakamura. Ziggler failed in his matchup with Velveteen Dream. Nick Jackson in the same boat as Skrull Rhodes and his brother Matt. Kofi lost in his qualifier to Cedric Alexander. Apollo Crews, he could possibly get that last spot on MDT Live side, so, but he's not on Vindication. Edge is in the same boat as Apollo Crews. Pete Dunne is in one of the matchups following. Kenny Omega is already the elite champion and will be battling inside the Elimination Chamber regardless. El Generico already has a qualifier. Bray Wyatt already has a qualifier. Adam Cole already has a qualifier. Chris Jericho already qualified. Bobby Roode is in the same boat. He could have qualified right here, but I guess the higher-ups felt that he didn't deserve it. AJ Styles already qualified for the Hell's Gate Vindication Elite Championship Elimination Chamber. Neville lost his qualifier to Chris Jericho. Velveteen Dream already qualified. Cesaro lost his qualifier to AJ Styles. 
Kurt Angler, I guess, was a one-off because he hasn't been heard from either. He's kind of the same boat as Sami Zayn. Really haven't heard from the man. Ty Dillinger is in the same boat as Jack Gallagher. Wasn't really a part of anything. And Shinsuke Nakamura already qualified. So you can see here that they really didn't have anybody else to put in this matchup. So Aleister Black did get the nod after, you know, dominating with the Wyatt Colt, being a part of that Colt, taking out Bullet Club multiple shots in a row. They're going to give him an opportunity here versus Matt Hardy, who debuted at the MDT Royal Rumble. And that one should be a pretty quality matchup. Can't wait for it that one. And then for our main event of the night, guys, we will see Bray Wyatt and Pete Dunne go head-to-head. -head. Now, this is a very interesting matchup indeed. I cannot wait for this one. You know, Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt Colt have been running around freaking just wrecking house on the Bullet Club. Who the hell expected this? They have been just dominant in the past couple weeks, laying out the Bullet Club, helping the Wyatt Colt win the number one contender tag team tournament after, you know, Kenny Omega thought they had a plan together. It backfired totally on them. They got just absolutely ass-blasted and so they are they're in a tough situation, but Pete Dunne going to make his solo debut here versus Wyatt, and these guys are going to go to war inside a Vindication ring, and the winner is going to go on to MDT Hell's Gate for a chance at that Elite Championship. So there's a three great matchups here for MDT Vindication 15, and this will be our final episode of Vindication leading into MDT Hell's Gate. It's been a long while since the the Royal Rumble, guys. It feels like it was yesterday, but like when you look at the months and the days that have went by, it's like Jesus Christ, man! Can we hurry up and get there? There. But we're going to get there, and we also have some other things that are going to take place on the show. You know, we don't know what's going on with Kenny Omega and the Bullet Club. After being beat the hell out of by the Wyatt Colt, what's next for them? We also have, you know, our, our Johnny Gargano and Cody Rhodes matchup. Is that going to come to fruition? We're still looking for a number one contender for Marty Skrull and the Revolutionary Championship. We also have the MDT Tag Team Championships that will be on the line at Hell's Gate between the Young Bucks and the Wyatt Colt. The, the freaking fumes are just over flowing here between the Wyatt Colt and the Bullet Club, so that one is going to be absolutely freaking fantastic. So, I mean, just a ton of stuff going on over on the blue brand, and, you know, I know that the, the Wyatt Colt and the Bullet Club has been the main storyline, but we also have some other things going on over there that are very, very interesting, and the vindication side of the MDT Hell's Gate is just freaking ridiculous. I think this Elimination Chamber matchup is stacked already before we've even added the last three competitors in here. I mean, when you look at the combination of talent that could be when you look at this thing, when you have Kenny Omega, Shinsuke Nakamura, AJ Styles already in your chamber matchup, those three guys already have history. Kenny Omega has put a huge target on the back of his skull coming into this elimination chamber, and it is going to be one hell of a fight between all of these men that get locked in here, whether it be Generico, Black, Hardy, Wyatt, Dunn, Cole, whoever the hell qualifies for this thing. It's going to be absolutely nuts. Kenny Omega assaulted AJ Styles at the MDT Royal Rumble. You know, he got into it in the backstage when they were picking their numbers. Him and the Bullet Club, the rest of the Bullet Club, put Shinsuke Nakamura on the shelf ever since MDT uh, Vindication Episode 1. They put that man on the shelf for a very long time. He finally gets his return here, and uh, that he, he qualifies for the Chamber, so they're going to get, you know, their opportunity to meet in the MDT Elimination Chamber. And when you look at the rest of the field, I mean, there is so many people that are going to have it out for Kenny Omega if they get their freaking hands on him inside this Elimination Chamber. The most unforgiving structure in all of MDT wrestling. So this is going to be absolutely nuts, and I cannot wait for it. And hopefully we get an answer from Cody Rhodes. Are we going to see him and Johnny Gargano go to battle here? What is going to be the comeuppance of that? The Wyatt Colt, obviously dominant, and they're going to be looking to see what the hell takes place on this final episode going into MDT Hell's Gate. Obviously, seems like uh, the Hell's Gate is home turf for the Wyatt Colt. I mean, they, they look like they're straight out of hell. But um, I believe that is all I have for you guys regarding MDT Vindication episode number 15. Again, the go-home show for MDT Hell's Gate, our last stop of MDT Vindication before we get to Hell's Gate, and then we're going to obviously have MDT Live, which we still have one more qualifier before we get there. We also have some other things going on on the MDT Live side, which are shaping up really nicely. I love the Elimination Chamber on that side as well that is shaping up nicely, and there are going to be two different contrasts of matches. I think that it's going to be great. One will obviously start off the night, and the other will end the night, so we're going to start off our Hell's Gate pay-per-view with one chamber, end our pay-per-view with another chamber, and I promise you guys, you are not going 
going to want to miss that. So definitely be sure you subscribe and stay tuned because Vindication Episode 15 will come soon. MDT Live thereafter. I will be going on vacation. You guys will probably won't even know I'm gone, though, because I will have an upload schedule ready to go. And once we get done with those two shows, we will have an a, an MDT Hills Gate you know, arena tour. We're going to take you through the, the, the arena and show you guys exactly what to expect from the MDT Hells Gate Arena and, you know, the, the surprises and stuff. You guys know we always do a unique pay-per-view set and we try to change up the arena as much as possible, make it, you know, give it a unique feel so it doesn't feel like the shows are always the same. So that will be epic. That will be great. And I hope you guys do enjoy it. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave your predictions down below for what you think of everything going into MDT Vindication 15 and MDT Live Episode 15 and MDT Hells Gate. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name toys and I will see you almost vomited. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.